Hey guys, it's Robin back at you one more again. I hope you are doing good on this terrific Thursday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and blessings to you. If you are returning, son, thank you. Love and blessings to you. Thank you for your support on both ends. Please like and subscribe and hit the notification button on that side so you'll be able to know when I'm going to upload my next video. Right now, I'm listening to reggae therapy at 432 hertz. Man, this is so relaxing. I'm like, ooh, feel like I'm in the middle of Jamaica on a beach. I'm telling you. But anyway, this is my video today. I'm going to turn on this, this music. Um... My video today is about Twin Flame 101, Target Individuals and Deprogramming Yourself. Um, number one, I'm not targeted by any kind of government, law officials, or CIA agencies or anything like that. It's nothing like that. Um, about my situation, have going through life, I felt like I have always been a target individual, especially from my family that I had to deal with, immediate family, um, they would always make everything seem like it was my fault, like I was the back sheep of the family, it would be just crazy, and I would always wonder why I would be going through the things that I was going through, and it was just crazy when you start eliminating the people out of your life that you feel like that you are targeted from i'm telling you, you get so much clarity back into your mind and your life and your heart your soul everything you'll start feeling a lot better it just seems like i always wanted to be around my family i always wanted to be loved. I always try to seek their approval. And then when I started noticing things where I would not feel right about going around them and always feel like I was walking on eggshells or being apprehensive about things and always wondering why when I would get around certain, cert, their certain friends and stuff like that, they would give me this look and they would look at me certain ways. And it wasn't about me being paranoid, which they would try to tell me I was paranoid. It will always feel like I was targeted for something and never knew why. And then till the secret came out. Okay, you were adopted already. You already knew that, but what's the big secret about you being adopted? Why has it been kept from you for so long? And then all this comes out, and it still seems surreal to me because I can look at my dad's pictures and I'm just like, you know what, this does <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm going through something like this. And he's just like, believe it. <laughs> okay. I've been trying to tell you this for years. And it's just like, he, you know, I can still be going through things. And I guess when they're trying to get your attention, they will let you know, like, look, he keeps trying to get my attention by certain things like his music or, you know, certain things will pop up. Like if I'm watching a YouTube video, it'll be certain things I know he would say to me and somebody will turn around and say it. So it's just like when I eliminated all those people up out of my life. Matter of fact, when, you, when you're going through stuff, like you're going through a journey. I'm not saying you're going to go through a journey like mine, but when you're going through a jacked up journey. It could be almost a different situation, but almost the same kind of feelings with me. You know, you're trying to find yourself, trying to wonder why you're going through the things you're going through. Why is it seem like everybody around you is attacking you? And it just seems like when you are different, it, it, it really feels like you're being attacked. And you always wonder why, like you are a magnet for things like this happening. And I don't know if it's just for empaths or, or uh, oracles or uh, indigos or anything anything like that but it, it, it just seems so crazy because I always try to wonder why it, it felt like because I know I had a lot of 
head trauma throughout my years and also indigos have gone through that they have a lot of headaches like head trauma and stuff like that they've had like accidents or you know they got hit in the head with something or whatever because it felt like I had amnesia for a long time until I separated myself away from my family and then the next thing you know I, I go to a movie theater and go see the movie Get Out I don't know if you guys have ever seen that movie or whatever but that movie really messed me up even though it was a very good movie you know Jordan Peele he was a very good director and just to see a movie like that made my skin crawl so i know that was just like you know what he did his job but it really brought me to a place where i didn't even know existed but i remember like having little there could be something that you you know there's something you're supposed to remember and I was just like, there's things that I'm supposed to remember. There's a person I'm searching for, and I think somebody's searching for me. And, I mean, all these things will go in my mind and all these crazy thoughts, like, who, who am I looking for? And why are they looking for me? And who is this person that's looking for me? And I know it's something I forgot. And it just so happened, you know, this is a spoiler, so if you haven't watched Get Out yet and you want to watch that movie, don't even watch this video because I'm about to say something, but I'm not going to say the end. But, you know, she was stirring the cup, and it was really, like, had me really antsy, like, oh my God, I wish she would stop. You know, it's driving me nuts. It's making my, you know, my ears were very sensitive to it. And next thing you know, when she clinked that spoon, it started bringing back all these memories that has been wiped out when it came to my dad it was just like nightmares that I've had where I told my family when I was living back down here before <clears throat> when my mom was still living and I told them I would have these weird dreams it was just like stop eating so late or whatever and I'm just like why is Prince trying to you know why does he have this big wad of money and he's like he, they're not getting it but I'm trying to keep you and your family, you know, they're trying to hold you for ransom. And I'm just like, somebody's holding you for ransom. And we're trying to save you, you know, get you to your family. And I'm just like, why would Prince be, you know, he was like Superman. <laughs> so it was like a really weird dream. And I'm just like, mind you, I was just 15 years old. So I had a mad imagination that was you know okay out there but the dreams was oh gosh it was just just crazy and it would be things that i would go through left and right that i'm just like now since i've separated myself from them and i start meditating and you know eating better and try to keep a clear mind because trust me oh my god it, it's just like negative thoughts go through my head sometimes just like you know especially on outside forces when it comes to the news the newspapers magazines and stuff sometimes i have to cut away from that because it becomes too much it becomes too much it's like i only can deal with so much at one time <laughs> because everything starts sinking in and you start seeing all these little it's like little snippets of all these things that's going on and it's like my brain has been released to all this stuff and I deprogram myself. It's just like, okay, I can't go through this anymore. But you have to remember your past. But you have to acknowledge it, accept it for what it is. Even though it is messed up to all, get out. But you have to get over it and move on. So I don't know if you guys have ever went to, through this or wherever you felt like if you've been target, a target individual. And, um... Just drop a comment, uh, like, subscribe, let me know if you ever felt that way. But, you know, it, it's just crazy. You have, if you ever felt that way, do, I'm right now I'm still doing a lot more research on it, you know, about it. And it's just like starting to hear about stuff like this. And I'm just like, I always knew I was going through this, but I never knew what the name, well, basically a label for it was. So now it's just like, wow, just doing this and being able to remember the things you went through. And yes, it's hard <laughs> to accept the things you might have went through that you might have forgotten. It's just like a veil has just been lifted. So it's just like I'm deprogramming myself. I'm being my own person. i be who I am as opposed to who I'm supposed to be. But I'm not going to uh, sit up here and hold you guys up. And I will talk to you later. Much love to you. Peace.
and be wild.